Okay, we're ready for RGFA site plan review for 6 Walnut Road. Yep. This is a house that was constructed earlier and under the RGFA and the, and the owner wants to make improvements that bump, bump it over the RGFA. So the <laughs> resident engineer for the evening, Jay LaVoy, <laughs> um, well, I guess, Jay, we've given this one, looks like about a half an hour. Okay. If we could hold it to that 15 minutes. Yeah, and I think we're going to go just go straight to the lighting as we discussed from the sidewalk today. So. Maybe you could explain the sure. background just for the... Yeah. For the exactly. So this was the original submission. This is actually the existing conditions for the project site as it sits now. As you had mentioned, the, um, there's no footprint change for this actually. It's, uh, so for the idea of phase two, it's actually uh, uh, putting a second floor in the garage. There's nothing there right now. Um, the existing house is six one on the road, septic system here, the driveway opening through the section here. This came through before stormwater, but there still is three recharge basins on the project site with some trench drains and then downspouts for the house <coughs> for that section there. Um, some lawn area, there's a retaining wall in the back, and then we have the limit of work. Limited work is basically set the way we would have done it if we would have gone in front of the planning board. This is all basically all the existing trees were saved. There's some plantings in the middle of that. We have little sections of limited work for the utilities in case they ever have to reinstall the gas line and pull out line or something like that. So the idea for this, basically as we were documenting this, as, a, as I met with Joe to figure out how we were going to go about getting, you know, applying for the permits, we want to basically document the existing trees, the proposed, uh, the actual installed trees, all the novel as well stuff for the, the, the building department and also all the lighting. So as we document the lighting, this is the, the original submission. This is where we had the 48,000, just over 48,000 lumens, which included all the, the recessed lights around the house and basically all the, the actual um, landscape lights, including the uplights in the front and along the side, lights in the walls, the, the, the wash lights in the back side, all that kind of stuff. Um, what everybody saw today at the sidewalk, is actually a reduction of that. We were reduced it down to 32,000, just over 32,000. And that was with basically removing a large amount of the actual landscape walls and then basically the three spotlights that were on the house. Um, so based on the sidewalk, we all talked about that we wanted to get down to the 22,000. That was a very important thing to get down to. Um, so I spoke with Neil and uh, Eric and so we kind of went through the lights, and what we're proposing now is we're at 21,081. And the way we got there was that we removed. This was from today? Yeah. Wow. And so what we did is we removed a lot, the rest of the, the uplights. Um, and we're actually going to remodel the skunk, the, basically the recess lights that go around. Eric went and met with an actual light specialist today, and they actually have. Those recess lights, they were basically there 600 watts of heat, uh, 600 lumens each, that's what it went all the way around. We got one that's 250 lumens each. So when you total all those up, it dropped it from being basically uh, 9,600, it dropped it down to 4,000. So it took 5,600 lumens right off the bat right there. And then when we took all the up lights out, that dropped it as well. Um, we are still proposing, and it's the ones that we talked about, those little bull lights at the walls. So we, even with those, we're still at 21,000. So I felt like that was kind of what we, we discussed on the site. We kind of wanted to get below that number. If we got below that number, we would be able to do the lighting on the back wall. Do you have any lights at that tree in the middle of the floor? No, nope. 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 all, all the other lights are on. All the lights are on. So they're all, they're all known as this little gray dot and basically to be removed. Are all the new fixtures dark sky? The only fixtures that are going, the, uh, the the fixtures around the house are all recessed lights, so there's one dark sky. Two sconces in the front. Yeah. The, uh, and then all the all the actual sconces, the existing sconces are all frosted, so they're all they're all the light only goes down. Um, and then, but the lights back here, they're, they're the little bullets. They're about they basically look like little torpedoes, and so they're basically to, to hit the wall. So, you know, if you shine them straight up, they, they wouldn't be. But it's going to be basically you know, like two feet off the wall. It's going to be hitting the walls. So it's, the wall itself is about four and a half feet tall, four feet tall. So you know, and then the rest of the lights are built in, so they're actually just they shine down on the stairs here and then this back patio. Sounds like it's the best work. Yeah, well, that's the, when, when we had the comments today, I think we had to do something for you. So how do we 
have to make sure of that. Do I go out and eyeball it tonight and all the lights are on? And do I show up in him six months later and see what it looks like? That's what he's for. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you actually, how do you actually determine? I mean, it's pretty easy with our little, you know, handheld sound meters. Uh, I mean, it, it's basically the what they're going to be. Um, I've, I've worded in the decision basically saying that a um, site inspection uh, shall occur prior to sign off on the space above the garage uh, for occupancy that verifying everything has been um, removed. And but so it isn't really removed. See, I mean, yes, the uplights are all gone, but we're just changing bulbs. Yeah, and that's what we're changing. The fixtures. Yeah, actually, actually have to change. Right. Right. That at least I can ask the electrical engineer to verify yeah. that that's okay. been done. Yeah. So, so it isn't just a light bulb. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's and that's what we did because yeah. and that's what we were talking about because those oh, were these were these were all fifty watt fixtures. Yeah. And we didn't want to come in and say we're putting thirty watts. Right. Because okay. we know they could always be fifty. So we actually went and got a new fixture. Right. Okay. That's, that's, that's limited. That's too. limited to that number. That's high. That's the max. Yeah. Okay. So okay. if you give that to Joe, that would sure. be fine. Good. He's got the lumen. Okay. Two fifty right on there. So it's the. Okay. Yeah. Make a reference to that. Yeah. Decision. Yeah, good. Well, that was Great. that was what we said. So you sure listen. <laughs> uh, listen sometimes, good. sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we're good, but other times, let's, yeah. let's be frank about that. When you do the right thing, you can expect. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's, um, I'm assuming you guys are fine. Any comments from the audience? No. Any comments from the planning board? I guess this means we're okay with the second floor in the garage, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. it's the yeah. one with all the built-in windows? Yeah. Uh, that's what it means. <laughs> um, good. And so, if anyone want to move to close the hearing? Is it a hearing? Yes. Okay. Yes, I so move to close. Yes, very good. Very good. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A